Hello, my friends and countrymen. Remember, abundance brings you in the series of good English speaking. One more video, a video which will give you a lot of learning. Believe you me, and the proof of the pudding lies in the taste of it. So let's begin. Here it goes. How to make your English speaking more eloquent and powerful. A beautiful word, eloquent, right? A powerful speech. So let me set an example. And I am exhorting you to watch this video completely and if possible, see two times. A lot of learning in this. I wish that you really become the English speaker. No Indian should be not knowing good English speaking, right? We are in it together. So let's begin. I am sharing you this beautiful statement. Let's see whether you can understand what I'm trying to say. Curiosity killed the cat. What does it mean? It means that if you poke your nose into others' affairs, you're going to have a bloody nose. You get into trouble if you poke your nose or you interfere in other people's affairs or you are inquisitive about over-inquisitive, right? So let's look at ourselves and confine and define, refine, concentrate, focus on ourselves. Okay, let's move on. In today's video, we are going to, as we always have the format, two parts. One is for the learners and the second one is for people who are already speaking good English. Please write in the comment box if you are understanding me. Write also if you have anything to say on the content, delivery, strategy, the technicalities of this video. Anything you want to comment on, please write. And also write what you want to learn. What are your difficult areas? Share. That's very important. Just write, yes, I want to improve my English speaking skills. Okay, let's begin with vocabulary. Now, I'm going to show you a small para I've taken from the Hindustan Times today. It gives you knowledge also what is happening around. So this is regarding the Maharashtra Assembly having given a notice to one of the anchors of one of the channels. So let's show you and then we are going to proceed further. Yes, you can see it, read it properly. I am ready for you. So it says, write in the comment box if you see this very clearly. Any difficulty, please write. If you see clearly, write yes. Okay. The top quote it said, as per its understanding, the plea, P-L-E-A, plea is underlined, could be entertained only if there is an any action on the recommendation of the privilege committee of the house pursuant to the show cause notice issued by issued to mr koswami i'm re reading it again see the words which are underlined do you understand the meaning of those words the top court said as per its recommendations as per its recommendations uh, my, my apology. The top court said, as per its understanding, the plea could be entertained only if there is any action on the recommendations of the privilege committee of the House pursuant to the show cause notice issued to Mr. Goswami. 
So I have pulled out these words. Let's see how the meaning plea. What does the plea plea mean? You understand? Are you able to understand what is plea? Let me share with you. It's a request made in an urgent and emotional manner. For example, he made a dramatic plea for disarmament. He made a dramatic plea for disarmament. Recommendation. This is a formal statement given by a defendant in response to a charge. For example, he changed his he changed his plea not to to not guilty he changed his plea not guilty right now recommendation is a suggestion or a proposal as to the best course of action a recommendation given by the standing committee as per the bylaws of the school a recommendation given by the privileges committee as per the bylaws of the school that's privilege a, a special right granted or available for example education is a right not a privilege okay education is a right not a privilege next is pursuant that is pursuant means this is a to follow any order of an authority that is pursuant right in according with that is the meaning of pursuant in according with okay pursuant so an example could be the local authority applied for orders pursuant to the section 3 of of children act 1989 right next word i have got for you is initiation that is action of admitting by a ritual for example rituals of initiation Rituals of initiation. So any group in which somebody is being initiated, like a monk or a sadhu or a saint, they are initiated by a special ritual. That is called initiation. Next one is reportage. R-E-P-O-R-T-A-G-E. -E, reportage. So this is the reporting of news by a channel or media. Example extensive reportage of the elections is in the news so this is all i have for you regarding the vocabulary session today and now let's proceed with the learning on i think you can see this all written in capital letters for you I think you can see everything clearly. Please write in the comment box if you are not able to. I'll improve upon it. Okay, these are called action phrasal verbs. This is going to make your language more colorful and more powerful, more impressive. So let's take them one by one. First is catch up. Catch up is to come up to. Catch up with the news of the day and you will be able to share your ideas better. Hang out. Hang out is a common place where people get together. Like for example, the students were hanging out in the coffee shop. Bring up. Now bring up means there is something I want to bring up. Something I want to bring up. That means come out in the open with some idea or a discussion you want to do. There is something I want to bring up. Another sentence. Let's bring this up at the next board meeting. 
Now here this bring up means that you are formally raising a point or raising something you want to which is of importance. Next one is get across. It means attempt to communicate. Example, do you sometimes have trouble getting your meaning across in English language? One, another meaning of this could be you are putting across an idea or feelings or a message. Example could be I am trying to get my point, point across but he keeps disturbing me. Let on. Let on means to talk something meant to be secret. Example, don't let on that you know the news. I haven't mentioned to him yet. One more. I don't think I trust him. I think he knows more than he lets on. Jump in. Okay. Jump in. This is interrupting. When somebody interrupts, it's called jump in. Now, I have interrupting in a formal way or informal way. Do you mind if I jump in here? Another way you can use jump in in informal way is button. I was speaking with him after he lost his job. Then Ram button and started talking about his personal grievances. Next one is blurt out. Blurt out is say something without thinking. I am so sorry I just blurted it out. Next phrasal is phrasal verb is dry up. Stop talking when you have nothing to say. Either you stop talking or you have nothing to say. So John is a nice guy, but our conversations always dry up after a minute or two. Next phrasal verb is get through to. I am trying to get through, but there's no answer. You are coming, you're putting across. You're trying to get through means you're trying to uh, communicate, uh, complete something or a communication. Another example is, it's difficult to get through the message. It's difficult to get the message through to my team because we all work remotely. It's difficult to get the message through to my team because we all work remotely. One more, I'm trying to get the message through to Sham, but he is not listening. I am trying to get the message through to Sham, but he is not listening. Next one is to talk over, especially discuss a plan, idea or anything. I know you are upset. Let's talk it over tonight when you are free. I know you are upset. Let's talk it over tonight when you are free. You could have one more sentence. We need to talk over what happened this morning. We need to talk over what happened this morning. I don't need to talk over, but we have already decided what to do. Talk around. This is to convince somebody. Example, I don't want to go, but he succeeded in talking me around. I don't want to go, but he succeeded in talking me around. Next one is to shut down. This is to close or reject somebody. Examples. It was kind of awkward. She just shut him down. Mid-sentence. My boss did not like this suggestion. He shut me down straight away. My boss did not like this suggestion. He shut me down straight away. Next one is backup. Backup means to give support. Thanks for backing me up during the meeting. And the last example of backup is, I hope my colleagues back me up 
because otherwise my boss will fire me so these are the phrasal verbs we have done today and i'm sure that uh, it has given you a lot of learning uh, it is a very enjoyable very very enjoyable uh, learning for me i am also learning uh, with you so also we are running courses making courses for you you can write in your comment box or you can phone us up the information is there on your screen you can call me up it will be my privilege my honor to get back to you we at abundance always think about you your progress and your happiness may your career in your future be bright i am now taking your leave till we meet again thank you so much for watching and subscribe like share as usual goodbye